Hi guys, this is Pratishta and in this video, I'm just going to be talking about the uh, TEF writing exam part A, which is the Fediver and you basically have to write, you have to complete a story and you have to write 80 words on it. Uh, so I'll just give you a sample paper by sharing my screen. Yeah, so this is from Prep My Future, uh, Prep My Future uh, more likely and when I was doing it I did it from the same website I prepared completely from here after I did my uh, C1 from Alliance Francais and yeah so the question is first of all I'll just go through the little what do we say the, the instruction that is also important and the whole concept of uh, going through some sample papers is that you don't have to waste time there on uh, these instructions. So you would already know if you if you have done it from here. So terminé cet article, on ajouta la suite un texte de uh, 80 uh, mots minimum en faisant plusieurs paragraphs. So again, 80 words and you have to make multiple paragraphs. So, du sucre sous haute surveillance, dimanche soir, des clients d'une crêperie des Brest quittent le restaurant après avoir réglé leur édition. So, some clients, they left a crêperie in Brest uh, after paying their bill. Édition is bill. Quelques minutes plus tard, les jeunes femmes reviennent pour se plaindre, accompagnées de policiers. So after some time, these people, they returned back to the creperie and they brought some uh, police officers there. Right. So now you have to uh, write some points and you have to continue this piece of news, piece of information. You have to make sure that your text has at least 80 to 150 words. You are making multiple paragraphs. Key Sachen logiquement, which are interlinked, interlinked logically. J'ai respecté le style du texte. Utilisation de la troisième personne du singulier. Third person singular. Utilisation du passé, passé composé imparfait. Ton neutre, descriptif. J'ai donné des informations et des détails précis. Je me suis relu et j'ai corrigé ma faute. So, ton should be neutral. You have given the information and precise details and you have reread this whole uh, thing that you have written and you have corrected your faults. So I would just, there are two uh, things that are given. You can also write in uh, Prep My Future, but uh, there is an example of the copy which is here and I'll put it in the video. But I will discuss the response amelioré. So I'll just, yeah. So, elle ressentant en effet de la sortie de la crêperie des douleurs ou entre et se rend directement au poste de police situé à 100 mètres de la crêperie. Une des jeunes femmes, la, ok, one more thing that I want to tell you uh, in my uh, computer, in my laptop that I have installed is one extension which can just Google Translate. So, even if you don't understand something and if you have the same uh, Prep My Future, what you can do is you can just click here and just click on Google Translate without going to any other screen. So it's basically saying that they feel stomach pain. As, so of course, the translation is not going to be exact anytime, right? Even if you Google Translate, it's not going to be exact. So it's the same thing, but you just have to uh, like just know that what it is, uh, what is meant by whatever they have written. So they felt stomach pain as soon as they left and they went to the uh, police station right after they left from the creperie. So, une des uh, jeunes femmes, la plus réactive, détaille aux policiers, rencontre les symptômes ressentis et affirme sous connor le sucre utilisé à la creperie. So, again, you can just also go to the single meaning, which is suspect. Sous connor means suspect, right? Also, you can just... Listen to the voice and everything. Uh, so the quality of the sugar uh, used was not good. Une autre jeune femme indique d'ailleurs recentré systématiquement des malaises après avoir mangé dans cette capri depuis un certain temps. So one other female, uh, she said that uh, she experienced something same after she ate from this uh, crêperie in on, on some other time. Les policiers expliquent à la gérante les raisons de leur présence. Gérante est le manager. Uh, 
right the police people told the manager about the reason of their presence e these onkete sur on sucre de mauvaise qualité utilisé pour la préparation des crèmes la gérante avoue avoir récemment changé de fournisseur so they have recently changed some employee um son ancia fournisseur fournisseur means basically the person who is uh, responsible for bringing the raw materials in the sucre parisien sa sa so again these green uh, uh the one the things that are highlighted in green basically they are you need to focus on that right and you can use that also so for example in this word uh sapro visione right was getting supplied so these are some uh, this is how basically you can uh, learn uh, different verbs right and i think this is a great way of learning verbs i did the same when i was doing it me ave de tre nombres difficulté pour la livrer à temps et a même été mise en liquidation judiciaire son nouveau fournisseur marseillais lui uh on and okay so before they were getting their sugar from um, Germ- germany like some german people sending their sugar from there but now they are bringing it out from india and that is why their sugar is low in quality so you can use some other country of course this is just an example then ayon per the poursuite judiciaire so uh, the of course the manager of the creperie were um, uh fearful of any kind of uh, lawsuit against them la gérante a promis au policier et au client de détruire tous les stocks de sucre encore non utilisé et de changer à nouveau de fournisseur so he promised the gérante he promised that he is going to destroy the uh, stock whatever stock was left of the sugar and they would actually replace it so that is it this is like this is very easy um more you read these kinds of questions the more kind of uh, stories you are going to get all right you would uh, come across such stories and uh, yeah you can just uh, make such stories on the spot there and i guess that's it the only important thing here is that you need to make stories for so the more you read the more you know so that is it i guess everything else is fine you see that there was a beginning a middle and an end so you have to uh, do the same thing and yeah so i'll see you next time with a new sample paper okay